All right, hey, and welcome to Underground Horror Radio. I'm going to try without the glasses. Last time, the screen and everything was glaring in my face, and it was a whole thing. So, yes, welcome to Underground Horror Radio here on YouTube. I'm working on the website. It's almost done, more or less, uh, plus the podcast, which you can hear on Anchor FM and also on pretty much anywhere, Google+, Plus, Gadcasts, a bunch of stuff. So today's unboxing is going to be monstrous. Monstrous, that's how you say it. So I got a Godzilla figure. I've had one for a while. I've had this a little while now. But the back of the box when I was helping out around the house got ripped here. So it kind of sucks. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to open it. So I already did uh, because these Godzilla figures by NECA, if you don't know, are a bit of a pain in the butt to put together. The tail, which before, I have the instructions actually right here. So anyway, the instructions say you got to dip the tail in warm water for about 20 seconds and you could snap the ball into place. Those of you who've been watching me for a past year or so, maybe a little over a year, have known that I put these NECA Godzillas together and I have hurt my hand many a time on the fins um, trying to jam that fucker in. So no more. Now... They also release some of these kind of packaging now. Before, they used to be the blister packs, which were cool, but I like these a little bit better. So I already opened them up. He has a cool... This is the original Godzilla, I believe, that was made in a the original movie, but it was this is the color poster. So, and he's colored like it. Cool box, though. I'm going to keep definitely keep the box just to have... But I was kind of upset. Ah, it's cool, like a comic book backing. So let's get him out here. This is now, I know that because of the green screen, he might be kind of half invisible, which is definitely looking this way. In fact, he's completely dark, except for his fins. Uh, but don't worry, I actually, um, I'll take pictures like I did with the Venom last week, even though Venom you can clearly see on the video because he's black and white. But uh, I will definitely have the uh, pictures of this guy so you see what he looks like. But uh, he's kind of cool. I like him. And he actually is very cool once I got the tail on. He stands up fine. His feet kind of move like this. NECA, once again, putting the effort in, did an excellent job for a Godzilla figure. And I know there's a lot of Godzilla fans out there. The cool thing with him is, because he's got his arms, uh, they move. Because I had like the 2010 or 12 Godzilla and uh, I also have like the Shin Godzilla and their arms are little small guys but this guy's got like a full arm it moves in different directions his hand even closes and opens which is cool at least one of them does. No, this one does too it's a little stiff but no there it goes see I didn't break it either good so he's, he's cool he's about 12 inches I believe so him and Venom I wonder who's bigger Oh, Venom's still bigger than Godzilla here, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. This isn't about who's bigger. So, oh, the cool thing about Godzilla is, so he's got his atomic breath here, which you can't really see, but it comes out without breaking. He opens his mouth. He closes his mouth. That's awesome. It's got a really lot of color, so when I take pictures here in a few and come back, you can see the beautiful color that he is. He's green uh, with yellow tint through him. And these are reddish pink. It's pretty. It's a very pretty figure. I highly recommend it. In fact, if you want your own, they're, I think they're like everywhere. But you can get them off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the bottom here. And you can order from Amazon and get it to you soon. So the other figure I have is the Diamond Select. This box is fucked up too. So Diamond Select Mega Godzilla, which... I'm waiting for NECA to make an ultimate figure like this for Mecha Godzilla to fight. You know, Godzilla, man. That would be awesome. So I'm a fan of Mecha Godzilla. Let's see. The thing about these little Diamond Select figures, which are they're cheaper. You know, they're not going to be 30 bucks. It's... Other than this head here, because I had a couple of different versions of these, not the Godzilla ones, just figures in general is they don't freaking move like this is it the only thing that moves is his head 
For whatever reason, they couldn't like stuck joints on here to move his legs or arms or even his tail. It looks like they glued his tail in, but you can't move it. Now this guy moves everything. Granted, 30 bucks, but it's just his head and that sucks because he's so cool. And I like him. I mean, it's Mechagodzilla. He's tight. So it's kind of sad. Kind of makes me a little upset. So he's, he's basically a glorified, more detailed Funko Pop. Like my Scorpion here from Mortal Kombat, which it's one step below him or above him because he doesn't move at all. He's a statue, but his head moves. So, all right, cool. Worth the 10 bucks. Sure. If you want statues. And then I found this at Walmart. It's an alien figure. Cool. Right? From aliens, which I have some NECA aliens and predators and terminators I got to open soon. So I think I will open them up soon. All right. Well, let's see what this little guy's got. Who makes this? Uh, manufactured by the Loyal Subjects Wave. Don't know what that is. Guess that's these. Uh, these are these little dinky five dollar, six dollar like um, figures. They got like a Jason somewhere like that. You know, their arms move and stuff. I haven't seen an alien one yet. Oh, he's got an egg. Cool. All right. Let's. Well, this one has joints. Oh, look at that. Well, look at that. This thing is about as much as that one. And this thing's got joints. Look. He freaking moves. His feet circle. He's got knee joints. Okay. Not much for the hands. Okay, so the hands are... They go out, but you can't turn the hands. They're all one thing. For whatever reason. Okay, so that's kind of jinky. His body kind of twists. Oh, his body twists the whole way. So, are you fucking, look at this. His mouth opens. The little alien mouth is in there, the one that kills you. So you're telling me for 10 bucks, his mouth opens. He's posable. Let's see if he stands. Hmm. Is his tail movable? Hmm, his tail's kind of movable. Well, it looks like his tail's about to rip off, so maybe that's 10 bucks right there, but let's see if he stands. Put his jaw legs up. Yeah, he's standing. So this guy, this fucking guy right here, not done up by a company that I've ever heard of, Royal Loyal Subjects Wave 2 LLC Washington Boulevard LA it's made in LA fully posable action vinyls but diamond select who made awesome figures like a bunch of Marvel ones uh, different ones for different movies like Ghostbusters I have a, a Peter Venkman movie bill murray diamond select figure that's completely posable the i zombie ones I, I think are posable i haven't opened them yet they got cool hulks my venom diamond select which is almost the same size as the other venom is completely you know multiple heads everything so for 10 bucks from diamond you get made in china you get a head that moves and don't get me wrong, a detail's cool. He looks like Mega Godzilla, duh. Missile fingers and all that shit, but he doesn't move. He doesn't do anything. He's a statue, basically. And this guy is a legit $10 mouth opening up alien from aliens action figure. Final figure. That blows my mind. Weird. Anyway, I think he's really cool for a little guy. And uh, it's sad to say that he's kind of better than Mega Godzilla. Mechagodzilla at least moved his arms some and his legs. It might be a little more fun, but uh, it's bad if that's 10 bucks and it does more than that. I mean, prices and everything. What do you think, half invisible Godzilla? You don't want to see me. It's in my mouth. So, speaking of which, all right, well, I will, we'll be right back. We're going to go and he fell, whatever. We're going to go and go ahead and uh, take some pictures, come back, edit it all together, and I'll be right back. Enjoy.
I have to see the screen. Okay, so we're back. Joy of editing. And here we go. I can put my glasses on for this one because I'm not looking at the computer screen. Of course, I don't know where the fuck my glasses are. Anyway, there we go. I'm not blind anymore. So yeah, so you can see he's breathing the fire, which I said is it, you can take it in and out. That's really cool. In the middle there, that's with the flash. The one all the way on the right was with the, out the flash, so you don't see the eyes as much. He still looks really cool, though, kind of menacing. And then with the flash on, as you can see, he has the different shades of dark, light, green, the pink and red for the uh, fins. Let's do another one. And there's one of him just sitting there with no fire or an atomic breath in his mouth. There's his back going all the way down. And there's Mecha Godzilla. He looks good in the light. And then we have one of the alien, what he looks like in the in the light. Flash on. Pretty cool. But definitely the Godzilla ones. He does look great. He's a very pretty, beautiful, like colored figure. Just like the poster, which is what it resembles on the box. So very cool. Very happy with that. Alright, so I think we're all in agreements here that that's pretty sweet but I, I'm glad I started doing the photo thing because of the green screen because I got more stuff that is open to open that is green Ninja Turtles bunch of other stuff some comic stuff so it's kind of it's kind of good that I started doing that I wanted to do a little bit more than just rip it open and be like here so it's been a while since I opened multiple figures at once so I might start doing that I got a lot of little things to open that I get. So anyway, I think that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out Awesome Godzilla. Like I said, if you want one of your own. The Alien was at Walmart and I got Godzilla at a comic book store as present. So check them out. Uh, Godzilla, they have them everywhere. I don't know if they're easy to get a hold of or maybe you don't want to leave your house because of this whole epidemic going on. So if you want to order it, maybe you want to get it through the mail. Uh, link down below is Amazon. You can get them, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Be good to each other, and uh, don't do anything crazy.